Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, and the fourth DLC in the Season 1 series called Sin and Sacrifice. Now, a Sin and Sacrifice deals with, which is ultimately, a kicking that they get from the Cylons. That's the way it's going, we're being beaten back and beaten back, the Cylons are getting more and more prolific in their attacks. And this mission called Executive Order, which is Mission 8 in the 11 mission campaign, deals with a lot of that really. You can see the subterfuge coming on. So let's get cracking and take a look at the gameplay. So the board is set and we're loading up the initial mission. This mission is going to deal with protecting or attempting to protect the president of the colonies. He's going to jump in. We're going to be in the area clearing out Cylons to make sure everything is safe for him. It takes place over Toron, or the Toron colony. And like I say, is mission eight of 11 missions. We've got our pieces in place. We've got our Minotaurs, the heavy guns. We've got our Artemis. We've got our Jupiter class and Minevera battle stars as well. Now we've got some adamants knocking around and, you know, a couple of Corvettes, that sort of thing. But I've managed to get through hook and by crook and by playing the game lots of mark ii vipers now you don't get as many mark ii vipers as you do as mark ones but they do deal out extra damage but then they can't take as much damage so it's a bit of a it's a bit of a dodgy thing but we've all got missiles and missiles are good and we've got guided missiles not torpedoes torpedoes in my opinion waste of space unless you're going to be close up and you know exactly where you're going and you've got your elevations right um with me i generally tend not to have my elevations right and as a result of which Guided missiles are good enough for me. Don't do as much damage, but then I'm happy with all the damage that they lash out. I have got my Minotaurs. The guns on the Minotaurs are going to be amazing. But we're going to start the game now after the setup. Get a little bit of story. Three, two, one. Jump complete. Silent marks are present at the LZ. No sign yet of Quorum 1. Commander. Clean out the Cylon force as efficiently as you can. I don't want the president jumping into a hostile situation, but let's avoid needless casualties as well. So there you have it. Um, the president is going to be jumping in. We've got to clear the landing zone of Cylons, ready for Quorum 1, which is, I don't know, obviously the predecessor to Colonial 1, as we saw in the Battlestar Galactica series. And that's going to be carrying the president. So we're going to move into position. We're going to get our Viper Squadron deployed as well. We're going to Viper screen out there, launch all our squad so that not only can they protect the Battle Stars, they're in place already to shoot down any missiles, engage any of the squadrons. You know, I'm quite happy with it. Quite a lot of Cylon marks on the board. We're going to have to box clever here, though, because, you know, I, I have no idea where yep, the President sir. is going to jump in. And that's fine. So, we're going to get some squadrons launched from the Daedalus as well. Okay, here we go. Right, end that turn. Let's move towards whatever is happening with those Cylons. So, they're starting to launch um, Cylon Raiders. Our Vipers um, are going to be in the air. So say we all. Got to make sure no missiles come though. See, that, that fighter screen is all important with the Vipers. Making a Viper screen like that will shoot any missiles down. Um, I'm trying to position some of the guns on the bigger ships yes, in the sir. without colliding with any of the other ships, of friendly ships that is, so that I can engage those um, those Cylon Cylon War Raiders or whatever they're going to be, yes, you know, with some of the bigger guns that are on the sides of the ship. Now, a lot of these battle stars come with what they call um, door bashers or door knockers, you know? They're big old guns at the front of the battle stars that will punch through an awful lot of armor, which you can then move along the side and then lash it Commander. along the side with the ventricle guns. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go. I'm a little bit concerned I'm a bit too grouped up where I am, so I'm going to slow some of those ships down. All about positioning. 
the thing is, and one of the things I found with this game, uh, it's all about you know making sure you've got the good firing arcs that when the Cylons come into range. I mean, I haven't launched any Vipers from the Battle Stars yet. That's the thing because I've got flak going on because I've got a feeling you know all the missiles that are going to be sent. I, I don't want to incur too much damage. That's what I'm trying to say. And the flak initially is not only is it going to have a go at the Cylon Raiders that are coming towards me. But also, you know, it's going to protect me from missiles. Understood. Then once that's done, launch the Vipers, we get out there, and then we're going to take on those Cylon Raiders. The Daedalus Viper screen behind me, they're in defense at the moment, they're hanging hostile. back. Here come the missiles from the Cylon Raiders. So all the flak is happening now. Of course, some of my ships uh, are not going to benefit from flak, like that Minotaur on the bottom of the screen. But, you know, they can take quite a pounding anyway. Which suits me. Now we're going to start focusing yes, our fire against some of the Cylon Raiders. Get some flak cancelled in some areas and keep some flak going in others where missiles are still coming in. Understood. So this Manticore, oh dear me, don't know what's going to happen there. Um, not going to last very long, no doubt. Yes, sir. But good turrets at the front, a good hard hitter, a quick ship as well. So I'm able to get to different parts of the map and get a, a Dreadus read on what's going on. Very important incoming. not to bunch up, of course. Damage. So missiles are incoming still at that Artemis. They've still got their flak screen deployed. Oh, and here comes the president. Friendly marks are on the board. Quorum 1 is active and responding. The projected to intercept and board Daedalus in four minutes. So the president is in play and he's got two Minotaurs with him and he's got two Colonial Heracles ships. Now the Colonial Heracles, that you may realise, is one of the new ships that was introduced with the Sin and Sacrifice DLC, that along with the Cylon Gorgon. Now the Heracles hasn't got any missiles, hasn't got any Vipers, but what it does have is a hell of a lot of guns. It's got guns right the way along the top. It, it, there's guns everywhere, you name it, it's got guns. And it's got a hell of a flak screen as well, which, uh, you know, it's yes, pretty sir. good, to be honest. For an old ship, they say it's an old ship, um, it, you know, it's a pretty good, pretty good unit. It's worth about 1,250, 1,250 um, battle points or command yes, points that you can have in your squadron. So it's not cheap, really. It's up there with... Um, you know, the Atlas carrier, yes, that sort of thing. So, but if you want something that's really going to lash down some, some heavy fire and be able to take a hell of a lot of punishment, then the Colonial hacked. Heracles is a for you. So the war drivers and the Cylon squadrons are starting to hack some of the systems on my battle stars. That one's taken a huge pasting, but we are taking additional Cylons out. It'd take a good chunk of Cylons to bother them, even out here on the battlefront. It's theatrics. Give him the occasion and he becomes a man of big gestures. What better way to bring his fleet to heel than to tell it to sit and wait for his arrival? Okay, good stuff. So, you know, he's got quite a few people with him, the old president in Quorum 1, and that suits me fine. So, it says bring Quorum 1 to Daedalus. Right, we'll try to. We'll do exactly that. But, you know, we've got a bit of a Cylon problem on the go anyway. And once we get rid of those Cylons, <laughs> then we can uh, think about escorting everybody else off. Yes, I mean, sir. our Viper screen is doing a pretty good job, as it is. We're going to move some of the escort off to create a bigger arc on the bottom left-hand side. That bigger arc is going to help fend off any additional Cylon Raiders that might be coming our way. Uh, Colonial Vipers are then going to sort of like fan out and provide that good screen. So the Colonial um, Transport, Quorum 1, then can then get to Daedalus. So far, so good. Jupiter laying down some fire. We're going to turn it around so some of the guns can get a better angle. Has just opened fire on Quorum One. What the frack? We've been 
Tell all units to engage the escort. To set up happening. The escort is actually attacking the president's ship. And it's gone. Deader. I mean, we couldn't save that. I, I mean, I didn't know that was coming. The president. What else do we do? Jump away? No. If we are going to be framed, that would only further fuel the accusations against us. We stay and fight on both fronts. More if we have to. We are still a colonial fleet. So there you go. I mean... His escort has opened up on the colonial transport. Yes, That's gone. I, I, whatever I did, I didn't know that was coming. I couldn't save it. Um, I'm still engaged with the Cylons. Um, fortunately, I moved some of the escort around to create a larger perimeter around the shuttle. So they're quite spread out. So that might give me a bit of time before they can start opening fire up on the Daedalus. So it is a stitch up. It's a stitch up. It's a cover up. It's a coup. They've taken the president out. We don't know who's taken the president out yet. But now not only are we fighting a war against the Cylons, we're fighting a war against um, the colonial, rebellious colonial aspect, should we say. The people who are doing a coup. So we've still got our Minotaur in play. Turrets opening up. You take out some of the, this nemesis, Cylon nemesis, um, our battle stars. Let's get them on the go as well. Let's just start lashing everything with the turrets and ensuring that we can... We can lay some good fire down and then start to engage those rebel colonial forces. So we can't fire any missiles yet. That's good. Because when we get a bit closer, oh boy, are they going to have it. Now, like I said, there's um, a colonial Minotaur and a colonial Heracles, who, who are now the bad guys. We've got to eliminate all hostile forces in this mission, Mission 8. Um, which is called Executive Order. Now we know why it's called Executive Order, because here comes the, the president to promote colonial fleet, and someone's taken him out. All that stuff that's been going on with the Cylons, with the Cylons trying to negotiate additional um, space for them to, to habit, to, for, for habitation. And we're saying no, because it's part of the colonies. Um, the peace process that the president would have been looking at saying no to Something's going to be going on here where I, th I think people are going to say yes to a Cylon presence. So this this could end really badly. Some of these ships are still firing at my fleet. We still haven't taken out all the, all the Cylons yet. And we're going to start mopping up those Cylons. One of the Cylon ships still hasn't revealed itself. So God knows what that's going to be. And I've got all those down the bottom. The good thing about those colonial ships is that they're guns only. There's no missiles involved. Thank God for that. The bad news is these are the ones that take a right old pounding. Okay, we're going to start moving some, some of my, my fleet into start engaging the rebel colonial fleet now. Uh, the usurpers with some missiles from a distance. I don't want to get too close in with the guns until I can bring some of my heavier ships in. The heavier ships can take the pounding. Some of the lighter ships, they cannot. And, you know, I, so far, I'm not doing so bad. I haven't lost a ship yet, but I got a funny feeling all that's going to change. So, you know, I can try and keep some of the, some of the ships away because, you know, they, they can use their missile batteries from a distance. Uh, to try and take some of the armor down and then I can get some of the bigger ships in place those bigger ships can then you know start lashing down the armor on the colonial on the, the rebel colonial fleet well I didn't see that coming but there you go lots of fire being focused gonna start swinging that Jupiter class around and I'm in a Vera gonna start focusing that around getting some of those big yes, guns on the front of the ship the Minevera, obviously the um, predecessor to the Saturn class, the Pegasus. Minerva, Let's make sure we've got our, our guns Fighters all focused up. Fire. We're taking a bit of damage, which Minotaur is a shame. Is I'll try and at least Sir, take out one of those ships. On it like a and now we get a bit of story. Put it on speaker. And we have reached an accord with Cylon Command. The Kovalin 
Alliance agrees to the ceasefire terms effective immediately. This decision was not made lightly. We continue to pray for peace, for an end to the hostilities that plague our sisters and brothers in Helios Alpha. Fraggers. Backstabbing fraggers. They took the deal. They undercut us and took the fracking deal. So there you have it, everybody. It's just been revealed that some of the colonial colonies have taken up an accord with the Cylon High Command. Um, and they've called it the Cobal Accord. This meaning that there's going to be a one-year ceasefire. The Cylons are going to go and establish themselves somewhere. And as a result of this, you know, no one is going to be attacked for a year. Um... Great. Not exactly sure how well that's going to go, but it's going to go... Well, if, that, if it indeed does come off. So we've got to sort of try and survive yep. this now and take off the, the rebel colonial fleet um, that has jumped in with the president, who they've assassinated. We can see now it's been a coup, and as a result of this, you know, we've got to start fighting back. So there you go. There's one of those ships gone. Fantastic. That's my Minerva gone. Uh, not happy about that because that had two missile batteries attached to it, but it did take an awful lot of punishment. Not as much as what you think it could do. Now, some of my ships after the Cylon battle have taken a hell of a lot of damage, and this damage I have to start repairing in regards to repairing the subsystems. The subsystems on the ships, you know, whether it be tech bay, the hangars, that sort of thing, probably better to have in, in full working order if we're going to go up against those other colonial ships as well. But I'm keeping a bit of a distance as well. We've still got some salvos of missiles remaining. And we're going to pick our targets on uh, based on you know where their elevation and where their rotation is as well. So we know the missiles are going to get in there. And they're not going to get hit by any of the flak screens that come out from the Colonial Heracles. Yes, Commander. So, so far so good. One ship down. But quite a few other ships critically damaged. As in, they won't be able to survive very, very long in a fight. We've taken down one of their Minotaurs. Now it's time to start lashing on that Man. Colonial Heracles. Going to get our Viper Squadrons in there as well. See what's going on there. Of course, I'm not as Viper heavy as I normally am because I've gone for the Minotaur. That doesn't carry a Viper unit, but it does have a hell of a lot of guns. So, my Minotaur, yeah, there you go, look. See, it's fire control is offline. Time to get it out of the way so we can get some... We can use its bank of missiles that it's got remaining to try and attack those rebel colonial ships. So far, so good. Missiles are coming in to engage the colonials. Time to start doing some repair. I mean, everything seems pretty good. Yeah, the tech bay's taking a bit of a hammering. The guns of, of that Minotaur, you know, are virtually 360 degrees of fire there. So what we're going to do is keep lashing it whilst the other battle stars and the rest of my fleet from the left, right-hand side of the screen get over to the left so we can start protecting the Daedalus. Okay, even though we're too far, we're going to get everything on, everything targeted up, ready so when it does get into range, uh, we haven't got to worry too much about all that fire focusing, and we can do it now anyway, you know, so um, there could be some big long-range lucky shots, Minotaur some of the bigger game. guns on the front of the ships have got a longer so range than some of the side, side cannons. Yes, sir. Of course, the Colonial Heracles, they've deployed their flak screens. A very good tactic, which means it keeps all my missiles out the way. They want to engage me close quarters and not with missiles. Missiles will do them the most harm at this stage because I can just sit back far away from them and just start popping them off with the missiles. With the flak screen, I got no chance. So they've got a bigger gun ratio to what I have, whereas the Battle Stars are good all rounders, um, are quite formidable as well with their Viper screens. However, you know, not too heavy on the guns. These are specialist support ships that are all about the guns. 
and I'm really going to try and pick my moments as to when I start letting loose with the missiles and taking these ships out. But now everyone's sort of like circling. I'm going to try concentrating on one particular aspect, I think, one particular ship, take him out of the equation, and as a result of that, we should be okay. But what I've got to say is I've really enjoyed this mission. You know, it's twists and turns. Okay, it's not devastating pot twists of what you imagine. You know, I thought it was going to be another protect mission as, as the president was jumping in. No dramas. Minotaur and you might have been given a few him. extra ships when some more Cylons would have jumped in. But that added twist of them taking out the president and then you having to engage colonial forces again. You know, I mean, we've seen this before in other aspects, especially the Broken Alliance DLC that came out um, later. Oh or earlier in 2018. So we should all be familiar, if you've got that DLC, of um, you know engaging colonial ships as well. And of course we've seen it in these missions where you know we've had to engage pirates who are running around in Minotaur corvettes. Minotaur is taking damage. Minotaur so down. they're starting to rotate now with their flak screens, which is starting to lead them right, or leave them open. Now I've lost a ship. I've lost a Minotaur, even though it has given the other Colonial Heracles a right old pasting. My other ships are coming in, in range now. He's ro That Colonial Heracles has rotated his flak screens on the wrong side. We're going to be able to start lashing him now with some of our missiles. We're going to get our Vipers in there. We're going to get our Raptor Squadron in there. We're going to get them to fire their rockets off. We're going to get them to board. We're going to start taking down their subsystems to make them more susceptible to attack. So, so far, we've got quite a few ships. Only lost two ships so far. Big ships, mind. A Minotaur and a Minivera, Battlestar. But, confirmed. I think, you know, the three ships we've got already, we've, in, we've dealt a hell of a lot of damage on them already. And so far, things seem to be going pretty well. And there One goes the next damage. ship. So, the Manticore was gone. It was always going to go. It's taken a hellish pounding in its engagement against the Cylons. Um, we used up quite a few of its missiles. I think only two salvos remaining, um, which could have dealt a hell of a lot of damage. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, it's only a light corvette. It's not there for a long duration of battle. The result of this, you know, it's, it's a jump in and jump out sort of ship. So our Minotaur's taking heavy damage. Yeah, well, we knew it was. That's, that's going to go next. I wouldn't be a bit surprised. I'm going to try and circle around, make sure the side guns are getting on that yes, that ship at the bottom. Make sure we get some of our subsystems back on, the armories. Is is that Colonial Heracles, I mean, it's doing a very good job at keeping my, my fighter screen at bay, and it's taking out some of my big capital ships with its guns. So a formidable ship, it has to be said. So say we all. Everyone this likes to command spread. battle stars in this game, though. And I think that is is, is where a lot of people yes, from the strategy said. side of things may fall a little bit short. It's all about having a balanced fleet, especially when you get up to 8,000 command points Understood. and you've got your, your officer in command of that particular fleet who is um, who's pretty switched on with all the bonuses. Also with the veterancy system as well. That helps a hell of a lot. So skipping out certain missions or, you know, not doing certain missions only stands to hurt you. And getting the veterancy in for your crew does give you a hell of a lot of Our an advantage. Now I'm only down to two ships now. I'm down to the Jupiter and I'm down to an Artemis. Now, okay, um, that's quite the pasting. But look at what I've taken out. I've taken out a good six Cylon ships and this rebel colonial fleet. The Jupiter is holding up really well, has to be said. Uh, very, very happy with the way that's going. We've still got some Vipers and Our some Raptors in play. Daedalus Viper screen, we've still got the Daedalus Viper screen. And, you know, I, I've got to say it, this is, that Heracles is about to go. So, that's it, the Artemis is gone. On it, Commander. It's all down to the, the, the Jupiter. The Galactica is going to take it out. And this is the mission where you have to have the Daedalus and you have to have the Battlestar Galactica at the mission marker to do it. It relies on that happening. 
Okay, so far so good. We're nearly there. Make sure our target is selected, which it should be. Come on, Galactica. Take it out. That Heracles is going to go. Only two hull remaining. Viper Squadron is pounding it. Time to turn all our focus now on the remaining rebel ships. End turn. We should be taking them out now. That's that Heracles gone. Try and get some missiles in. The Galactica virtually on full armour. A head-on assault towards that remaining yes, ship. Because the Heracles has got that flak screen deployed. We've got a hell of a lot of air superiority. Hopefully, they're going to be toast. All my Vipers are swarming around it. And be fair, the, the Viper squadrons are holding up. Right, so everyone's got their target. It shouldn't be too long before we can take that out now. Oh, that Heracles still got a bit of armor left. It's going down quickly, but not quick enough. So our right armor on the Battlestar Galactica is very low, but the rest of them seems in pretty good shape. I haven't made an awful lot of use of support craft to repair armor in this game, although in hindsight it might have been worthwhile having one that would have um, allowed me to keep some of the ships. I'm going to change some elevation, I'm going to drop it down a little bit yes, so I can sir. bring more guns to bear. Viper Squadron still doing its funky thing and swarming around, making a nuisance of itself, chipping away at that Heracles armour. We've got one salvo of missiles left. Heracles on three hull, he's going to be toast and there he goes. So, we didn't save the President, All marks are... we've lost All marks most of our ships, We're done. Alone. I mean, and there's only our alone. ships left on the board. So we're going to take a look at the replay now, uh, and as a result of which, I'm going to stop talking. We're getting a bit of story now. They want to go out there, they want to start combing the wreckage, gaining evidence. Right. Yeah, right. What good that's going to do. Know what to do next. She'll... And they've got to come up with some sort of a cunning She'll... plan of a counter-attack. So, let's take a look at the replay and see how that plays out in 3D. Right. Quiet before the first shot. Escort priority one, still online. Escort clear of stone is back. Target acquisition is screwed. Give me manual control now. Keep your target locked and watch for safety. Reloading! They're giving us a hell of a storm, sir. Adjusting shot by point one step. Fire. Get him! Get him! Get him! They're already in our network. I can't keep them out. We're gonna hammer the crack until they can't get back up. Optimus firing. Solution updated. Target acquisition maintained. Switching gun to manual.
So there you have it, quite spectacular in the replay. You saw the colonial shuttle being destroyed. You show us attack the, you know, the colonial Heracles and Minotaurs. We saw our fleet decimated and you had a little bit of story. They've gone and sided with the Cylons. So check back for more videos in the series. There are more coming and look at the back catalogue. I've been Ricardo. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so. See you soon.